It was signing day in Springdale, but we're not talking about athletes. Not in this case. No, this is very cool, though. More than 50 students committed to jobs with skilled trades employers. Yeah, 5 News reporter Jose Carranza introduces us to the future industry workers who leaders say will be set up to make strong salaries without the debt that comes with attending college. Me? Hi, my name is Max Tischer. A student at Don Tyson School of Innovation and also... I work for Brunner and Lay. They do industrial mining tools. Already in his future career. We're focused on making sure that our students get applied work, um, earn while they learn, and chances to meet our business and industry partners who are ready to employ them and educate them moving forward. The Springdale School District celebrated students moving into the industry with a signing day at Springdale High. It means a lot because I really didn't know what I was going to do after high school and this opened a path for me. For many like Brandon Castro and Tisher, the district's career and technical education programs connected them to industry partners early on in their education. The district's approach is something they say is a part of a new wave of education. The career and technical education is literally getting into the workforce every single day where students are out in the field with subject matter experts earning while they're learning. We have got a career path for young people that will get them into what I guess you would term college type salaries within a reasonable amount of time and they don't carry the college debt with them. So we're not against four-year colleges, but we really think that people should take a second look at the trades. Ken Stuckey with Bruner & Lay says they're pleased to see homegrown talent while also showing that there's multiple paths to success after high school. This young group that's coming through the schools now and through technical education and through two-year schools, they're finding the path is wide open because of the aging of uh, a lot of manufacturing uh, people. It's just the start of my life and I think it has so much opportunity there. You know, young students, they have energy and they're ready to go. And our kids today in our public school classrooms are being prepared for jobs that don't even exist today. And I think they're going to be creators of jobs in the future that don't exist today. They're entrepreneurs and they're ready to work. In Springdale, covering news where you live, Jose Carranza, 5 News.